when you're reading putts, you're basically trying to get the ball to finish a consistent distance behind the hole. And that distance pretty much be about a foot, no more than say a foot and a half. There's a lot of data on that, that that's the ideal speed to keep the ball on line so it's not jumping around on the green. No matter what length putt, three foot putt, six foot putt, ten foot putt, you should always be trying to hit it foot plus. If you do that, the biggest thing that it's going to help you with is to become far more decisive about your green reading. What we don't want to be doing is going, okay, well, I'm going to hit this one a bit harder to try and keep it high, and then the next one I'm going to hit a little bit softer, and now all of a sudden you've got different aim points you've got to worry about as well as speed. What we want to try and do is keep one of them as consistent as we can, at least with our intention. Do is finish. Foot past the hole. You can imagine that ball probably would have finished about this. So in terms of green reading, we want to try and keep that as consistent with distance. It'll work really hard, and then it's not an easy thing. You're going to train it again and again and again and again, and you'll never get good enough of it. That one ever has. That's how hard you hit the ball. But the thing that can be a little bit more consistent is you're going to train to get it foot past the hole. That allows you to now start judging how far left or right you might be to aim when you break. Hopefully, that'll just help you become more decisive about what you're doing when you're actually standing over that ball. If you're enjoying what you're watching and you want to come and work with me in person, come and join me at the Gold Coast here in Australia. Have a golf holiday and break that bad golf and play the golf of your dreams in the space of three days. All the details are down below on my website. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Cheers.